Okay, well, I'm always looking for new and interesting ways to make a little motor out of uh, different components and things to do to make something rotate. And I came across these um, magnetic tacks at the uh, dollar store, and they're like a push pin tack, but they have a little magnet on the end of it there. And uh, I thought, you know what, I bet you I could make a motor out of those, even though they're really pretty weak. And so I fiddled around with it, and I came up with this design that uh, actually worked pretty good. And I'm still using the toothpick thing here. And for some reason, I'm fascinated by the idea that you can just take a round toothpick and use it for your rotor shaft and suspend it in different ways. And here I'm using the... Uh, the screw, the Phillips screw idea, where the toothpick sits in the crosshairs of the Phillips screw, and when you adjust this just right, it makes a pretty interesting low friction bearing. There's no load on this, and that's how I'm getting away with it, is there's no load on the, the rotor, it's just freewheeling. If I were to load this down, this wouldn't work, it would wear out the wooden toothpick in a hurry, but what I do is I take the toothpick and I rub the pencil graphite on it and then coat it with the crazy glue and then rub it again with the graphite and then crazy glue and, and I build up like this really pretty tough bearing surface right there and uh, that has actually worked pretty darn good with a bunch of the things that I've built but let me show you how this one works um, you have to spin it to get it going and this is my little um, driver unit that uh, I really like now. It's um, a choke. Let me get it going again here. It's a choke um, that uh, has about 30 ohms of resistance in it. And um, very very high inductance on that choke and it's too bright in here let me walk this out of the bedroom i'll show you how this works in the dark but i really like the fact that it'll light up a, a neon on the flyback and I, I haven't seen this before in a lot of the other coil methods that i've used but this choke and i can't get it to work electronically it only works with the reed switch but um I find that really, really interesting that that capacitor, little super capacitor, has about uh, two and a half volts in it is all. And yet when that field on that inductor collapses, the energy comes rushing out of that thing in a low amperage but high voltage, enough to light that neon. And I just find that uh, very interesting that... Uh, that happens so let's go back in here or show it a little bit better but yeah I've, I've had a lot of fun with this uh, using a choke instead of a wound up coil to run these little motors and um, they aren't uh, long running they don't run very long but they're fun to play with and that's these magnetic tacks that uh, you have to have them so that it's uh, both the same pole facing outside. And that's just a reed switch and that's just a little supercapacitor. It's a 2.7 volt. Um, I think it's only a 3, three farad supercapacitor. But this thing will run uh, 5 to 10 minutes on the energy stored in that supercapacitor. Anyway, that's, uh, that's what I wanted to show today was this idea of using uh, these um, magnetic tacks for your um, rotor. And there's just a couple little t pieces of toothpick to hold it so it's uh, level. But uh, that's what I've been up to. Happy holidays, everybody.